he must be the only chief minister after narendra modi i am talking about narendra modi was the chief Gujarat minister, chief minister. Gujarat, as a chief who was been talked about international media have you ever heard any chief minister talked about international media yeah. all of a sudden when he became the chief minister a militant chief minister new york times militant cow, monk militant monk a cow loving chief minister or something 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 i thought why they are getting so active so i got like there is some problem sitting somewhere based on some stringers here and there they cooked up a story because they hated his attire yeah. that was the problem they hated they hated they had his, a problem with saffron they they, ha- they had a problem with saffron they, they, they don't even know who yogi adnath is properly and they written him off right so i want my inspiration was those negative articles same implies uh, to tamil media also uh, and you have that. written your second book that the monk who transformed uttar pradesh uh, how yogi adnath changed up wala bhaiya <laughs> abused to a badge of honor yeah yeah i'll tell you why see up wala bhaiya bihari bhaiya right this is like a kind of abuse yeah. right when they call you up wala bhaiya you know what do they mean they mean you come from a up which is lawless which is gunda raj which has no development your degree might be fake you might be fake so that's their connotation be- behind up wala bhaiya because the only only industry up used to give inspiration to is the gunda industry is the mafia industry all the bollywood who get inspired to make movies on those topics that's the only inspiration used to come out of up and within this 5 years up is turned on yogi adnath is turned up on his head all the indices now we are number 1 or number 2 economy num- we are number 2 ease on doing we were 14 number 2 in sugar production number 1 ethanol number 1 there are 44 central government scheme where up is number 1 okay. and see we as a up wala can't even imagine oh in in ease on doing business we are number 2 oh that's <laughs> matrix is for like maharashtra or gujarat that's matrix is not even for us right it's hard to believe it's hard to believe and then say oh, oh wow and then you say it's a world bank ranking you can't even rig it right okay. so that's why in fact i wanted to write um, the title my book as the monk who changed uttar pradesh yeah. when i was started writing i said this is not change this is transformation, transformation. this is transformation உலக தமிழ் சொந்தங்களுக்கு வணக்கம் நான் ராஜவேல் நாகராஜன் பேச தமிழா பேச வலையொலியுடைய வளர்ச்சிக்கு நீங்களும் உறுதுணையாக இருக்கணும்னு நினச்சிங்கன்னா இந்த வீடியோடைய டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷனில் இருக்கக்கூடிய ரேசர் பே லிங்கை கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் அந்த லிங்கில் போயிட்டு உங்களுக்கு விருப்பமான தொகையை பேச தமிழா பேசுவனுடைய வளர்ச்சிக்கு உங்களுடைய பங்களிப்பாக நீங்கள் கொடுக்கலாம் நன்றி வணக்கம் So hi viewers we have a very special guest today Mr Shantanu Gupta a renowned author who has authored seven books and three books on Yogi Adityanath namely the first book is uh, the monk who became the chief minister and then the monk who transformed Uttar Pradesh and today he has launched this uh, comics for kids uh, namely Ajay to Yogi Adityanath so sir welcome to the show Ah, yeah. Namaste, Namaste Kiran. Namaste to all your viewers. So, how are you? I'm ah, doing good, doing good. Yeah. So, can you please elaborate on your book? Uh, the first book, The Monk Who uh, Became Chief Minister. Because in Tamil Nadu, usually we have a misconception that uh, Yogi uh, Raj is a uh, Gunda Raj and no, uh, criminals have a safe uh, house there and uh, minorities are not safe there. And what is your take on that? uh i'll go sequentially kiran so the first book is is his definite biography uh which is the monk who became chief minister and it, uh, it has four parts to it one is like his childhood when his pre sanyas name was ajay singh best uh his days in college he went to college he did his bsc he did his msc first year in maths so a lot of people don't know all of that he that's he's a science graduate right and then something happened in his life right he met his guru mahant vedanath on a very interesting and very coincidental uh, context which is now fructifying and you your viewers will be amazed to know mahant vedanath in 91 92 was in a all india drive to make people aware especially youth aware about the ram mandir movement okay. right and on that context a pant shirt wearing uh, ajay singh best in college he was an abvp he met mahant vedanath and that was a like he was in uttarakhand and mahant avadnath came from gorakhpur that's almost 800 900 kilometers right okay. so it's like quite coincidental and they both met on this context he asked a lot of question like a curious student and on the sides they meet and today it's so happening the ram mandir is getting constructed ah. when yogi atnath is the chief, chief minister right so on that context he met his guru and later he got so so impressed by this guru that he took sanyas when he was only 22 right okay. uh and he did not even tell his parents 
he's saying i'm going to gorakhpur for some job or some other uh, like next step in life right okay uh, and you know you'll be surprised to know uh, his parents got to know about him through a newspaper because that mutt is a very revered that he became a sanyasi that is he became a sanyasi they they said the uttarakhand boy became the next uh, successor for the goraknath mutt okay. goraknath mutt is a very famous yes. mutt in north right so its successor is announced in newspaper he said oh that's a very familiar name ajay singh was oh my god where is he and they ran to gorakhpur uh his his guru was not there he they saw their son ajay singh yeah. he's a yogi atnath now he's had his shaved off he's wearing saffron and they asked what is this he said okay just calm down drink some water have some food i'll make you talk to my guru the guru was not in town mahanta vednath ji was not in town he made them talk to the guru and the you know, guru told one amazing thing and i'll i'll ask you just go to the comic page and you will love that dialogue of guru ji uh guru ji ha ah, just go to page 44 i think surely the okay, 44 yeah so you know what what guru ji and uh, anand singh biji meaning the father are talking and guru ji said anand ji meaning the father you have seven children you have seven children it will be a great service to the nation if you can dedicate one of your sons for dharma culture and country okay. many generation will be indebted for you for this sacrifice and we are really indebted to anand singh biji ji that he did not take away his son no he cannot be sanyasi because because of that he became a member of parliament and that he's available to us as chief minister otherwise he would have been doing some job <laughs> sitting in uttarakhand right so that's one phase and then his phase as a member of parliament that he was a member of parliament for five times 98 99 2004 2009 and 2014 2014 term he did not complete full because yeah. 2017 he took like he resigned from parliament and and went to assembly and he became the chief so, minister the, during right. the 2017 assembly elections bjp contested the election without a cm candidate right no, cm face exa- exactly uh, how did yogi ji became the top priority for them see that answer no one knows okay. yeah only amit shah ji and narendra modi knows but again what might have happened one can guess see bjp won on the plank of that the other side was super corrupt and other side was running on family politics right okay. there's huge nepotism and huge corruption and the whole politics are based on caste politics if uh, akhilesh will come he will say my combination muslim and yadav, yadav combination. combination if mayawati will say she is a meme bhi mean dalit and muslim, muslim combination so muslim is like a common denominator and you add some caste to it to make a winning combination so muslims are being used as a vote as a vote bank. bank muslims are being used by congress by every party as a vote bank right uh, so that was like a formula right take muslim vote appease them add little one caste maybe yadav sometime or dalit sometime and try to winning combination no vision nothing for the state just some caste calculation right so these were the what is a ground rules for uttar pradesh right so what might have went in the minds of senior leadership of bjp that we have to give a candidate against it right so f- someone who is against the caste who can be against the caste a yogi in 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 in, in bharatiya sanskriti we will say jat na pucho sadhu ki you don't ask the caste of a sadhu sadhu is casteless right any saint is casteless so you go beyond the caste when you uh, have a saint as a chief minister first second corruption like he has seven siblings one sibling sells tea in the stall in nilkant one is a junior in, in army one is a school teacher one one someone is married to a junior officer so they all all live a very very normal simple life, life. very normal and simple life we don't even know them do you know any of their faces no. we we don't know but do you know robert wadra's face yeah. you, we all know this face right so we know the relatives and the fancy cars of all the politicians their, their wives their friends their, their their fathers their mothers but we don't even know who 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 are who are the siblings of yogi adityanath right so we don't even know the relatives of yogi adityanath so that was the i think must be the second point in the minds of center leadership that he is against the family like uh, that he is just the serving against the family he is another modi he is another modi that right? you don't have aage piche there is no one to up, no one to do be corrupt for who will you earn, earn money for uh, that second and then he is a super administrator a lot of people don't know this he was a five time member of parliament by already by then and he has won in exponential margin even in 2004 and 2009 when bjp was not doing very good right now on four and time he is winning his election uh, with exponential margin and his mart has almost how many almost 44 45 institutions large okay. institutions let's say the school has 5000 5000 kids the college has 5000 kids there is a nursing college there is ayurvedic hospital there is a medical like uh, modern medicine hospital there are multiple dharmshala so he is running these 44 institution for last 20 plus years like a ceo 
okay like signing checks hiring firing people hiring directors talking like 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 if i give you a school to manage with 5000 kids it'll be your full 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 time job right yeah. he is doing this from last 20 years buying being a parliamentarian and a very active parliamentarian like every parliament is attendance 85% 90% he's asking 300 questions when i compared in my book with rahul gandhi rahul gandhi that tenor is asking zero questions zero parliamentary debate in 2004 to 2014 no 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 i'm yeah yeah in, in that tenure right okay. when they have a common tenure right if i if you compare rahul gandhi's data with uh, yogitnath's data it's like a stark difference yogitnath like 300 times 400 times then so he's an active parliamentarian he's an active uh, parliamentarian in his in, in parliament house and in his uh, on his, in his constituency, constituency right so all this together must have weighed heavy on the minds of the central leadership i think i think that's why that's why he he so what he inspired you to write a book on him what inspired me so it's not even ins- inspiration it was an answer to a fake narrative that i saw right even i never noticed you will be surprised to know when he became the chief minister he must be the only chief minister after narendra modi i am talking when narendra modi was the chief minister, chief minister. as a chief who was being talked about international media have you ever heard any chief minister talked about international media no. all of a sudden when he became the chief minister a militant chief minister uh-huh. new york times a militant cow, monk militant monk a cow loving chief minister or something 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 i thought why they are getting so active so i got like there is some problem like why they are they are getting so active why why they want to know who is the chief minister of okay. they are not bothered about who is the chief minister of tamil nadu or kerala or maharashtra or whoever right why they are bothered about and then i started reading i asked my research team can you give me all the articles that written during this time and last uh, in english media especially okay and i found out you'll be i'll be surprised almost 99 99.9% of articles written on him were negative okay i thought how can this happen right still he became a chief minister yeah, yeah see he is a parliamentarian for last 5 years uh-huh. he is winning for exponential margin in hindi media it's even fine hindi media is doing like mixed su- review. mixed mixed review but english media is like like totally negative. logs and barrel against him i'm saying there's something fishy here something fishy here I should bring this 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 story to the public, and then I went to Uttarakhand, met his father, met his mother, met his sibling, met every person possible who came in life. I went to every college school he went. Somehow skimmed through the friends, teachers, his opponents. Uh, went to Mart, lived there for a couple of days, met lot of people. Then traced lot of his acquaintances across the globe, somewhere outside, somewhere parts of India. Okay. And then I thought, what a person this is. and that story to be told what he did in parliament i did the skim through all the questions that he asked over years what kind of questions he is asking in the parliament right with all of that i think i thought that should be brought out so my inspiration was this negative news okay so negative news gave me inspiration that this story should come out in in truth in 100% truth not by the people who are sitting in new york let alone lucknow they never came to delhi and they wrote the stories let alone gorakhpur or lucknow they never went to uttar pradesh they, they were not even in delhi sitting somewhere based on some stringers here and there they cooked up a story because they hated his attire yeah. that was the problem they hated they hated they had his, a problem with saffron they they, ha- they had a problem with saffron they, they they don't even know who yogi adnath is properly and they written him off right so i want my inspiration was those negative articles same implies uh, to tamil media also uh, and you have know. written your second book that the monk hmm. who transformed uttar pradesh uh how yogi aitna changed up wala bhaiya ab- abused to a badge of honor yeah yeah i'll tell you why see up wala bhaiya bihari bhaiya right this is like a kind of abuse yeah. right why it's abuse because when you say when when someone when you go down south or maharashtra any when when he, any state which is traditionally little developed when they call you up wala bhaiya you know what do they mean they mean you come from a up which is lawless which is gunda raj which has no development your degree might be fake you might be fake so that is their connotation be- behind up wala bhaiya because the only only industry up used to give inspiration to is the gunda industry is the mafia industry all the bollywood who can inspire to make movies on those topics that that's the only inspiration used to come out of up and within this 5 years up is turned on yogi atnath is turned up on his head all the indices now we are number 1 or number 2 economy num- we are number 2 ease on doing we were 14 number 2 and sugar production number 1 ethanol number 1 there 44 central government scheme where up is number 1 okay. and see we as a up wala can't even imagine oh in in ease on doing business we are number 2 oh that's <laughs> matrix is for like maharashtra or gujarat that's matrix is not even for us right it's hard to believe it's hard to believe and then say oh, oh wow and then you say it's a world bank ranking you can't even rig it right okay. so all these parameters so that's why in fact i wanted to write um, the title of my book is the monk who changed uttar pradesh yeah. when i started writing i said this is not change this is transformation. transformation this is transformation change is like 
UP had 25 flights in and out. If the 25 will be 35, I'll call it change. UP has 100 flights today, in and out. UP has two expressways, now it's nine expressways. UP has like amazing airports coming up. Or at least for media person, when the go, UP is big, right? The size yeah. from, now you can travel, you know, you take a train, you know, now you can uh, take an expressway, you can take a flight. And and it's really, a, Narendra Modi calls him expressway man. Yeah. It's expressway state, right? So now, like the speed of UP's growth is odd, uh, not double, triple, quadruple, it's like multiple time. That's why I use the word transformation. The biggest criticism on uh, Yogi government especially uh, is that uh, encounter killings are on uh, their peak now. What do you want to say on that? So, so let, let me tell you the whole background, right? So when Yogi Atanath came, the crime was rampant in UP, right? Uh, and there was an institutionalized institutionalization of crime, meaning the people who should have been behind the bars, they were in assembly, they were in parliament, right? Because Samajwadi Party and BSP, Bajan Samaj Party, they co-opted these gundas element. For example, Atik Ahmed. Oh, Atik Ahmed, Mukhtar Ansari, the list, list is long, right? And they used to take pride in this, that we have Bahubalis in our party, right? <laughs> Uh, and old were the days when the, there was no EVM, right? These people used to come yeah. handy for b pole rigging and what not. Right? Booth capturing. Booth capturing and what not, right? Uh, so when Yogi Atanath came, that was his challenge number one, right? That my state cannot be developed, my state cannot be prosperous, nobody will bring business to my state if the image of my, my state is that it has Gundaraj. So you know what it is? That was his first task. He identified all the organized mafias in all the 75 districts separately with the mission exercise. Okay. And what do you mean by organized mafia? Organized mafia meaning like someone who has like 50, 100 people working for him and who has a specialized, a cheating mafia or a car stealing mafia, a sand mafia, a land grabbing mafia. So they are like professions, like you are a media company, like they are a company, almost like okay. a company, right? Organized. Organized crime. Like they have staffing almost, right? That he's Recruiting. a sharpshooter, he's a sharpshooter, he can do this, he can do this. They, they were they were they were like that organized the crime was UP. There's a place called Soti Ganj in Merit. Merit is a town where sports is very famous. Sports goods manufacturing is very famous. And Narendra Modi uh, ji spoke in one of the speeches. Soti Ganj was a market for car stealing. Okay. So if a vehicle is stolen even in Tamil Nadu, it will go to Merit. And within 15 minutes, every part will go to showrooms. Okay. Even Mercedes is stolen, go there, tire will go somewhere, engine will go somewhere, and they're, 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 they're sold in open market. That market is no more. That market is, does not exist anymore, right? So, so what he did, he find the organized crime and make sure he gave free hand to his policemen, make sure these people who, who, who never got FIR or who got FIR never got arrested, who ran from courtrooms, who ran from jails, they should all be arrested. So there are 10,000 such operations. How many? 10,000 such operations. And while doing these 10,000 operations, when the criminal counter fired, only 150 got killed. Policemen? No, no, 150 criminals got killed. When okay. is it encounters, right? Counter. Out right. of these 10,000 operations, okay. rest all, lot, lot of got arrested finally, only 150 were killed. And out of those 150, only 30% were Muslim. The rest 70% are non-Muslim. Okay. So I think people should get their facts, right? So that's, in fact, I'll tell you one thing. You remember Atik Ahmed, uh, when yeah, Atik yeah. Ahmed thing happened, uh, I think seven, eight days back when Atik Ahmed got killed uh, by the shooters, uh, government uh, did an encounter of Asad, who is the one of the sons of Atik Ahmed, right? There was whole hu halla, right? Oh my God, son is 19 year, 20 year, 21 ah. years. He's so young. He has a future. He's innocent. He's innocent, but he shot two people dead like 10 days back, right? He was <laughs> not so innocent, right? And people made it like, like a Muslim issue, okay. right? People made it a minority issue. That very day, one more prized criminal, prized criminal who had a prize on their head, five lakh rupee prized criminal, Adi, okay. uh, Aditya Rana was also shot dead. But that news never traveled to you. And Aditya Rana has shared the same caste as Yogi Atanath. It never traveled caste, to me. Right? It, it never traveled everywhere. And UP people don't know, right? People say, oh, Asad got killed, Asad got killed, he's a Muslim, that's why Yogi killed him. Um, Aditya Rana, who shares the same caste as Yogi Atanath's, like pre Sanyas caste, after Yogi don't have any caste, people say, oh, he's a Thakur, he saves Thakur, right? Aditya Rana also got, got killed, right? So what people do, you know, they, they, they selectively pick some data from here and there and try to suit their narrative, right? Okay. But that's my attempt always with data, I, 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 I smash all these fake narratives. Sir, you met Yogi Ji personally during the 2022 election campaigning. Yeah. How was your experience and what did Yogi Ji say on your book? And you presented yeah. him this book, right? Yeah, yeah. So fortunately, I have the fortune to meet him multiple times okay. uh, in the last six, seven years. And yeah, during January of 2022, February, March was the election. So 
between in like the thick of election uh-huh. when some people were from BJP leaving uh, going to SP. Samajwadi Party lot of thing ticket distribution happened in the thick of that I met him and uh, gifted his book in Hindi and English that I have roamed around in 40 plus district there's a very positive environment for you I think you are going to win this election hands down right that was my okay. he he laughed he said okay yeah well, let's see let's see and we are strategizing and saying what will be your like focus in yogi 2.0 that was my question okay and in between all those caste politics election the ring free bees you know what it is i want to make up a one trillion economy i'll do whatever it takes one to trillion make, economy to make because he said until us my i make my states prosperous i can't promise anything because if i make my my, my state prosperous then I, i can do affirmative actions also then i can do subsidies also but first the money should flow in and that will only flow in when my economy will be big and that's very interesting that in between election when there's so many caste politics freebies in mind you are so focused ha huh. and when he won the election in march he was a acting cm for some time till the time he took oath of the office ah. in the second term right in during that time also he floated the rfp for a, uh, engaging a consultant company for the volunteer economy okay. and within four months the i think delight got on board uh, and they're working on that volunteer economy right so that was my experience during sharing of that book okay yeah. uh, so now they are concentrating on the one district one product right yeah. so how far it is so useful for the ups economy yeah So I think this is uh, uh, one of the flagship scheme the Yogi Adityanath launched around 2018. I think he recounts that recently when I met him that during a trip to Malaysia he he realized that their economy uh, is doing very good and what are they doing good and from there he realized that l- you have to localize the economy. Everything cannot be centralized around capitals. Everything should not be around Lucknow or Noida. or gaziabad right? everything should not be about chennai right okay. yeah. it should be like Definitely. multiple cities should be the growth engine and that was the concept he learned and then say what can we do he said every place has some utility right some business happening right let's say aligarh is famous for his locks merit is famous for his sports good even sachin tendulkar's bat got made in uh, merit right uh, places like uh, varanasi places like uh, nearby areas on uh, varanasi are famous for carpet right lot of fa- places are famous for wood toys right Uh, so there are multiple clusters of places what he did he said odop means one district one product okay i will identify one unique product from each district and give that product a market give that product marketing give that product publicity give that product training give that product market access right all of that so identified one product from uh, district created a beautiful website so that you can buy a product sitting in chennai sitting in america and also giving this person uh, these people training for how to expand their business and also giving them market whenever big exhibitions are happening okay. so these uh, these products all 75 districts travel to delhi travel to tamil nadu travel to maharashtra and sell the products right and whenever you see if you see just yogi atnath's timeline whenever some senior person go to meet him recently jay shankar ji met him right he gives a odop hamper ah. kangana ranawat met him surya the the, the player uh, met him he gives a odop so he is like the brand ambassador himself one district one product one product, product like i want to sell tell about up that in up each district has a unique product so yeah. overall up has 75 district so oh. it's he is representing the, all those 75 unique items that one can buy from up so one such product is that buddha rice uh, yeah. uh, if i am not wrong so it is it has a international market now so international in fact when narendra modi recently went to uh, take the the g20 presidency in indonesia he gifted a lot of things from up okay right a lot of craft uh, craft work. he also is uh, prime minister is also focused on craft work and artisans right okay. so i think this what is the advantage of this lot of people who are expert in this they don't migrate because these things are not selling mm-hmm. right you have to give market to these things so that's why it is stout migration it has a locally employed lot of people and it has generated huge economy and huge exports revenue for uttar pradesh uh, what is the change that yogi has brought in the administration of uttar pradesh that's a main question i have to ask you yeah. see administration wise up administration was slack why because the administration depends largely on your leader right i'll give you example <laughs> in fact yogi nath recently made a speech that by the time i complete the the tour in two three districts my opponents are still in the bed <laughs> right so i'm saying that discipline right in fact when yogi nath became the chief minister you know what was the joke who gets up early narendra modi or yogi nath 
Who gets up? Who gets up early in the morning? Gets up early. Like, What's okay. the competition like? Who gets up early? The answer was Yogi Adityanath and Narendra Modi. And the answer is Yogi Adityanath gets up early by 10 minutes than Narendra Modi. It seems Yogi Adityanath gets up at 3:50 and Modi gets up at 4 a.m. But both are very early, right? 4 a.m. Like half of the world is asleep Sleeping. in India, right? So I'm. I, I, this is sounding funny, but this is the kind of disciplined life they live. The and by the time, by the time it's seven o'clock, he's already calling his officers. and his officers say i am not used to i am like i slept by 12 o'clock i can't so a lot of officers like change got the posting changed right. i i can't work in this hard hard regime right and by the time it like 7 7 and 1/2 80 8 8 o'clock he started meeting people is janta darbar is everything started happening so first is discipline and 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 when when your boss is so disciplined the bureaucracy automatically becomes disciplined right and he made a very interesting thing he said i'll make random calls to the landlines of 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 district collectors and superintendent of police sps and dms right landlines okay in the office because they used to sit from homes so that if you have okay. to pick the landline i'll make sure that you are sitting so this kind of culture was there in up okay uh, um, the people say the previous chief minister akhilesh yadav was like used to available by 12 o'clock 1 o'clock and then by 5 o'clock he was in swimming pool or he was playing badminton that's that's very common uh, anecdotes that you hear uh, in up corridors right so okay. from that regime to this regime is a super administration everything is monitored everything is qr code dashboards uh watching excel if you ask yogi and he carries a pad he will say no 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 just check this <laughs> he will show you ipad and throw it you and he will say okay see this data he is very tech savvy he may not code but he he can use the gadgets very yeah. smartly and now the whole vidhan sabha very techy right the pal- the the budget of up is presented in a ipad right okay. so that's why i'm saying I-, i want to tell your viewers and whoever is watching this and everywhere i tell this that he is a science graduate Yeah. He did his MSc in uh, uh, maths for the first year, and then he took sannyas, and then he got Vedic knowledge also. So he's a beautiful combination of modern knowledge and traditional knowledge, okay. right? So yeah, so that's multi talented. Okay, yeah. so you mentioned yeah. about uh, incident that uh, every time a new chief minister is uh, sworn in, they get a car for oh, themselves. Oh yeah, that's a very interesting incident. Let me. So yeah. can you please elaborate on that? So what happened in 2017, Kiran? uh when he became the chief minister right so and this was the first time he's holding any formal post because during his member of parliament time he was never a minister right so he was in office so his officers came and gave him a file that like, okay we are selecting a new car for you so he said why that the previous chief minister's car must be there he said no no that's a tradition in up new chief minister new car when akhilesh yadav comes yeah uh, so so when mayavati came she she made us buy a 1 crore rupee land cruiser okay and then we got 1 crore rupee land cruiser right. then when akhilesh yadav came he made us buy two 7 crore rupees mercedes suvs right okay so he, that, that's a tradition new cm new car he said no no i'm not, not going to buy a car and use one of these car but the officer was insisting no no sir new new chief minister's new car and he got a little, little annoyed right he said i'll i'm going to use the same car which is already in the protocol so that I'll, i'll i'll hit the ground running and i think you want to spend money go to go to market buy a 250 rupees saffron towel <laughs> and put it on my front seat so that that saffron color will remind me that i am on this chair like on chief minister's chair and that car's chair to serve the people so that they can buy cars they they will prosper they can buy cars not for me to buy new cars from state money right so i think this can only come from yogi's mouth a yogi a saint can only uh, say this and, and that's also set the rule the basic perception the basic discipline for up bureaucracy from non, non, then onwards ulaga tamil sandangalukku vanakkam na rajavel nagarajan pesu tamil pesu valaiyudi ude valarchikku neengalum urudhuniya irukkanu nenachinga na indha video ude description la irukkudi racer pay link click panunga and the link la poittu ungalku virupamana thogai pesu tamil pesu vinudaiya valarchikku ungalude pangalippaga neenga kudukalam nandri வணக்கம்